Elise at Something Beautiful Handcrafts. Happy New Year. This is a new year and I have new goals. Of course, I don't always have like just new goals just because it's New Year's, like New Year's resolutions. I don't really do that. But um, I have new goals because I have new stuff. Okay, so I finally have a new desktop computer. So it's going to be a lot easier for me to edit videos. Uh, with this new machine as opposed to my 12 year old desktop which was okay working wise but you know after 12 years of running every day for hours um, and then having to put a copy of Windows 10 over a copy of Windows 7 uh, you can imagine it had some slow down issues okay so I also now have a new tablet which is going to do wonders for quite a few things. And it brings me to what's in front of you. This is my planning calendar. This and this and all this. Okay, so I'm one of those people who just loves paper and pencil. And uh, there's been studies to show that, you know, writing with paper and pencil kind of stimulates the brain. So, And I just enjoy it. Uh, I can't really write too long because it kind of gives me hand cramps, but I still enjoy the, the sensation of writing. And I like the physical note taking uh, as opposed to trying to punch everything into my tiny little phone or, you know, having to open up the desktop to that every time. Uh, well, now that I've got a new desktop, that shouldn't be a problem either. So with a new desktop and a new laptop and a fairly decent phone this year, uh, I think that I can do a better job with taking photos, taking videos, organizing my social media content, and keeping track of things that I need to get done as far as planning. So I'm going to try this year very, very hard to use my tablet and the apps in order to plan out what I'm doing. Now, I know there are some people who feel like, you know, this is fiber arts and I'm just doing this for fun, so I'm not really planning. And I, I love you guys. I totally love you guys. That is so cool. And then there are people like me who enjoy planning, who feel satisfied with planning, and who still plan their what they want to do with their hobbies or crafts or arts or whatever, you know, they have in mind. You know, we keep our revelry queue. We use our revelry queue. We keep uh, running track of our fibers and all kind of things like that that we have. We you know we have a little stash, you know, list somewhere. And that is the kind of person that I am. So I like to keep track of the things I'm doing. Um, especially with the fiber arts since that's when I'm making a lot of videos and social media posts up. So what I have been doing as you can see is just as I went through the day on the calendar uh, I would jot down whatever little bits of ideas I had and then I would flip back and forth through the different pages trying to schedule um, these lists into different days where I thought they fit or, you know, arranging them into blog post or um, into corresponding um, videos and then lining up all the hashtags. And it kind of got a little messy and it always does with me. And then I'm, I'm, I've got the little calendar here and I'm scheduling here. And then at the back of this book, I was taking notes and it just became a lot. I mean, it's a lot of paper and you have to try to figure out what page you put that idea on so that you can bring it forward to the, you know, whatever the next appropriate day was. And as you can see, I've got all these little things in here, you know, contact sheets, different fiber arts contacts. And I want to try to get that centrally organized. And I, I want to get it organized uh, in the manner that I'm going to actually carry around with me, which is more than likely the tablet and not this big book. So I found the program called Trello. I'm going to give that a try. I'm not going to do a demo on Trello because you can find plenty of those already. And I think combined with Google Calendar and, and the Samsung Write, that I should be able to basically write in what I want 
and you know, turn it into type, of course, and then kind of organize it through Trello and then put it onto my Google Calendar or Reminders. So I think that's that's going to be a more efficient process, and hopefully you'll be you're able to see the quality of my videos and social media posts get much better. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you a preview as to what is going to happen for the month of January. First of all, I completed the bobbin for the Capitan hat, and so you'll see that in the Capitan hat video coming up in the next few days. Also, I've decided to join spinoffs Cow Along, and that is scheduled to start January the 16th. So I need to pick my fiber by the 16th so I can get started. I'm not sure what fiber I'm going to use. Actually, I still don't have any clue at all. But I do know two things. I would like to spin a thin and thick slub yarn, and I'm probably going to spiral pie it. And I'm going to dye it afterwards. So that's what I have in my. I haven't even picked the pattern yet. So we'll see how it goes. Also, I'm I'm going into the thin and thick spinning section of the Spinner's Book of Yarn Designs. I need to get back to the Spinner's Book of Yarn Designs. I kind of took a break because it's kind of heavy stuff. And we're now to the point where we're not talking about theory anymore. We need to do some actual spinning. So I'm at that point now. And I kind of needed to, to pause before I got that started. So if you are following along, with the Spinner's Book of Yarn Designs, I've been absent from the group. I'm going to go ahead and get that swing in again. Can you see now why I need to really get a calendar going? And then um, I'm going to start spinning these samples. So get some roving ready or some fiber combed out. And we're going to get into this spinning thick and thin. That's all I'm going to say because then I'll start telling you the whole thing. I don't want to do that yet. So keep that in mind. I... I'm working out uh, a new career. I'm getting into user experience design and research. And also I just finished my certification in website HTML and I'm going to do the Google Analytics um, this upcoming, well actually yeah, it will be this upcoming week. And then I've already done the SEO. And so, uh, that's another reason I really have to, you know, get things scheduled because once I start freelance working or my hope is to find a company to work with for user research design, I, I don't want my fiber arts to lag behind. The fiber arts are just as important to me as anything else. So I'm saying if I get organized then I can be productive on both ends. We'll see how that goes, but I think I'm I think I'm ready to take on the challenge. Okay, thank you everyone. That's just a little update. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, a wonderful holiday season, and I hope this new year brings you joy and blessings. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.